Hey guys, how's it going? So, the difference between a remap and a tuning box. So, if we use a turbo petrol car as an example, on a turbo petrol car, the tuning box will intercept the air pressure signals that the ECU gets from the from the turbo, i.e. the pressure of the air entering the engine from the turbocharger. And it will under-report the, the, the reading to the ECU. So, for example, your ECU is programmed to want a 15 PSI of boost pressure. A tuning box will intercept that signal coming from the sensor and it will convert a 15 PSI reading to a 13 PSI reading. And then the ECU will compensate for that. It will add 2 PSI to what it thinks is 15 PSI of pressure when it actually is, when it actually is 17 PSI. So that is a tuning box. That is what it does. It, it reduces the signals that the ECU is getting and it, the ECU then compensates to increase uh, the pressure to what it thinks is normal but when in fact it is actually higher. So that's how a tuning box increases boost pressure. A remap on the other hand will go into the factory ECU, will go into the factory maps, the factory software and it will say to the, and it will put into the factory maps Change those 15 PSI readings to 17 PSI and that is how the, the remap achieves the higher boost pressure. You physically actually change the values in the, in the software of the ECU and the tuning box achieves exactly the same thing by manipulating the, the sensor signals and the ECU compensating for what it thinks is a low signal is how the boost pressure is increased. And that's it guys, that is basically the difference between a tuning box and a, uh, and, a, and a remap, fundamentally that is the difference. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, please vote on it, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time.